The lineup then for the hosts. If you like wingers, you'll love this league. Yeah, absolutely. I love to watch a winger play, especially with pace and power. The central striker will stay more or less in front of the goal. The support will be provided by the three central midfield players. The back four is pretty conventional, but the fullbacks will be asked to support from behind. Well, you know, Lee, having been in Istanbul in 2005 to witness what I thought was the greatest Liverpool comeback in European history, I didn't think that would ever be rivaled, but against Barcelona last season, it was. Well, we've seen some nights at Anfield, some magical nights. That's got to be one of the best nights they've ever had. 3-0 down from the first leg. Absolutely sensational game it was. And this is how Liverpool start the game. The highly rated Brazilian Alisson begins between the posts. Dejan Lovren plays alongside Virgil van Dijk in central defence. Naby Keita plays with Jordan Henderson in the centre of the pitch. And leading the attack today is the ultimate pressing machine, Roberto Firmino. Well, whatever way you slice it, Lee, Mo Salah is a man you just cannot take your eyes off. Well, his ability on the ball is second to none. Just watch how close he keeps the ball to his feet. He lures defenders in. Then quick turn of pace and he's away from you. Brilliant player. He must finish. Oh, and couldn't convert. Naby Keita. Roberto Firmino. Salah. Back from the byline. And Sadio Mane finishes with aplomb. Well, here's the replay. How well has he done there? The defenders close in on him. They think they've got him. No chance the ball's in the back of the net. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. And Mane in the thick of things. And it's in for Liverpool. Is there a way back for the opposition now? Well, take a look at this again. No finer sight than watching a player catch a volley so, so sweetly. Look where it ends up. It's a beautiful goal. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. And in possession, Heinen. Well, you've got to keep the ball a bit better than that. Well, Liverpool certainly enjoying the lion's share of possession. Really starting to dictate the tempo of this game now. And they're creating chances as well. I'm not sure their opponents seem to have the answer, to be honest. They... And Salah! It really is such a free-scoring performance. Just nothing the defenders can do about it, seemingly. Well, look at this again. It's all about being in the right place at the right time. And from that sort of range, there's only one winner. Well, let's have another view of that goal. It's a highly promising Liverpool attack. But will there be an end product? Goalkeeping of the very highest order. Oh, it was a great shot as well. Great shot, great save. Fabinho, Mane, Milner, and the goalkeeper doing what he's paid to do, Liverpool corner given, Alexander-Arnold, Salah, and that, a glorious chance given the position he was in he's not going to be especially pleased with himself well he took the chance with power not always the best option Mane and attempting the through ball Mane Origi the goals keep going in for them I don't think they're going to throw this away now absolutely omnipotent
Well, here's the replay, and I can see why the keeper's a little frustrated. He thought he got enough on that to keep it out, but it's just come past him, and he's unlucky, really. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Opportunity for Origi. And he scored not once, but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. We can take another look here. I'm sure the keeper is frustrated with the defending. Just afforded too much time in the box, and he's never going to miss that. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? And so that is going to be that. The final whistle here. And they're in a pretty comfortable position because not only have they booked a place in the knockout stages, it's still very much on for them to finish top of the group league. Yeah, absolutely. Going through takes the pressure off a little bit, but the big teams, the good teams, the good players press on and finish top. And the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Lee. Well, he never gave that back line a chance to get a breath. Two goals for the lad today. Played superbly well, looked really sharp, constantly playing on the shoulder of the last defender. A real handful.